Hey all you beautiful people, what's up? It's Carla J back again with another video and it seriously feels like a thousand years since I've last sat in front of my camera and made a video for you guys. And I think the reason why it feels like that, it's because it's true. It's 100% times pi true. I have not sat in front of my camera in such a long time and filmed something for you guys. I'm really, really sorry about that. Work has been getting super crazy, super hectic, super chaotic in all good ways, of course. It's a summer month, so more events, more promotions, more hours for me, which means more moolah. And yeah, so I am fresh off of BeautyCon LA and I'm still riding on a high because for my first BeautyCon ever, the experience was without a doubt worth so much than the perfect gloss. So with the social package, you get a swag bag once you've checked in and seriously guys I was not expecting the amount of products to be inside of this bag I was absolutely mind blown by how much was in here it is so heavy it seriously it was arm day all day yesterday all day and I never do arm days so we all know how crazy so yeah, I just wanted to share with you guys what was inside, let's go through it together and if you see a product that you yourself have tried and you ha like, dislike it, tell me why in the comment bar below. And yeah, so let's just get on with this video, this intro is far too long and now my foot is numb and it feels like, feels like this. The first product that is in the swag bag that I grabbed is from Soap and Glory and it is the Sexy Mother Pucker Pillow Plump Lip Gloss lip gloss lip gloss xxl i'm actually i'm really curious about this i've never used a lip plumper before um always been um curious about these things but yeah i'm gonna give it a go and see next is from l'oreal and it's the Volumin voluminous original mascara i've used this before it is amaze balls it is amazing and then they also came, it also came with a primer and base. Next in the bag is from Real Techniques and it is a setting brush. Let me just open this bad boy up so I can see what's in it. I've never used, fun fact, a Real Techniques brush before so this will be my first time ever. So I'm pretty excited and about it, if I could just get it out. Two hours later. Oh. <laughs> Next in my swag bag is from Paul Mitchell and it is a dry wash, so I guess it's a dry shampoo and a stay strong um, hairspray. Next, it's Say Yes to Cucumbers and it is a soothing hypoallergenic facial wipes. I have used this stuff before, love it, it's great, it smells wonderful, love cucumber. Num and <laughs> yeah. I'm super excited by everything. I, I feel like I've been saying I'm super excited for like every single product that I've pulled out of my bag and it's only been like five products in. But yeah, so I'm just, cause I love almond milk. Next in my swag bag is this Seba Med um, Quality Through Research. It's a liquid face and body wash. It says it is dermatologist developed. It's an ultra mid formulation compatible with the most sensitive of skins. Gently deep cleans pores without causing dryness or irritation as a regular soap can. And it is also cruelty free, which actually excites me. As always, everything excites me, obviously. <laughs> but it excites me more because it is cruelty free. Right now, I'm slowly transitioning out of um, the normal face cleansers and shampoos and the face washes, I mean body washes that I've been using and into cruelty free products and um, vegan products if you do have recommendations please 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 leave them in the comment bar below or you could tweet them to me whatever um, so yeah I'm really excited to use this stuff next I see is Garnier skin active clearly brighter sunscreen it's a brightening and smoothie brightening and smoothing daily moisturizer next is hair chalk from splat I've never used hair chalk before because I just throw color onto my hair and yeah I probably won't use the hair chalk because my hair is already dyed I might actually try it on my ends but if anything I'll just give these to my sister 
next. So when I first saw this in the bag, I legit thought it was a condom, and you can see where my brain's at. <laughs> it's actually a, uh, it's called Practice Safe Sleep, and it is a makeup wipe remover. I'm actually curious. I'm definitely going to try this out tonight. It, and it also says hashtag sleep naked on it. So that's pretty cool. Next is Pixie by Petra and it is a brow palette. I'm excited. I've never used Pixie before. I've seen this at Target several times and I don't know why I didn't try any of their products yet but now I will try their brow thing. So I am pretty curious as to see how this will go and how this will work on my brows. <laughs> Next is from Pacifica and it is a magical multi-pencil prime and line lips eyes and face. I'm guessing this is similar to the NYX Wonder Pencil, which I absolutely swear by. If you know me in real life or if you've seen any of my videos, you will know that I am constantly using NYX's Wonder Pencil. And it's a multi-purpose um, multi pencil. And I mainly use it beneath my brows to um, highlight and lift them. You can use it to line your lips. You can use it to line your waterline. You can use it for absolutely anything. And I swear by it. It's one of my favorite products. And so I'm guessing this is similar to what this is, but I'm excited to try this out because it's new, never tried it before, and it has a unicorn on its packaging. Can't really tell, but yeah. <laughs> Next is another brush, and this is from Luxie, and I am all for the brushes. Ooh, it's super soft, and it's pink, and I like pink things, so yeah. Next, it is from Absolute New York uh, Nano Liner. Next is from Pop and it's a Kojol, Kojol? Kohal. It's a black lighter. <laughs> Next, um, ooh, it's from Tarte. I love Tarte. Okay, so it is a Lip Surgeon's Power Pigment. Let's open this. Oh, and it says Fearless, and I love that song. Babies, and it's the Maybelline Color Jolt Intense Lip Paint and they gave me three colors. I got it in violet, I got, bleh, got it in red dye or not, and then I got it in stripped down. This color looks absolutely beautiful. It is totally my color. I love more um, neutral shades like this. This one would be a fun one for like music festivals and concerts, or even if you wanna rock it every day, a purple lip, then fine. And of course this one, and since we're talking about Taylor Swift and being fearless, um, classic red lip. <laughs> Next, speaking of red lips, legit they gave me red lips. Kissy Permissy and their breath mints. Next, Lashes, falsies, these are from Ardell and these are the Double Up uh, 202 in the color black. Next, this is from Lime Crime and it is a liquid matte lipstick and it's in the color Shroom. Um, I feel like, okay, I've never used Lime Crime before. Fun fact, it feels like I always say fun fact and then I tell you something that I've never done before and it sounds like I never take risks with my life. But yeah, I've never used a brown lipstick before so this will be fun to try out. It is a nice shade and it's um, definitely something that I could probably rock on an everyday basis for work and yeah. <laughs> Next, it's from Pure and is a waterproof with argan oil big look it's extreme mascara and i love this color blue i'm thinking next hair color what do you think the top because it is waterproof it has little the texture is like droplets of water which is pretty dang cool next is a what is this it looks like okay it is line and seal it's from Sty, styly style it is a semi-permanent eyeliner, and it looks like it'd be in the color black, but the packaging says otherwise, so let me see if I can find a color to this. Oh, it's in tiny writing, but it says plum. Ooh, okay, so this is from Milani, and it is the Amor Metallics Lip Cream. Next in the swag bag is from Nubian Heritage, and it's the... Obsidian Oil and Chia Seed Body Lotion. Pop Band London, it's uh, just a stretchy, one of those cute hair ties and it's bright neon pink, so I'm excited. Love it. 
Uh, next from You Can Makeup by Perfect. It's a nail file. Next is a bandana from Radio Disney. Um, yeah, cute. Next is from Amika. It's another dry shampoo. Okay, so it's Sea Buckthorn Berry. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It legit smells like a perfume. It's it's florally but light and fresh. It doesn't. It's not he a heavy smelling. Oh, it smells so good. Oh yeah, I'm. Let's do this now. Okay, next in my bag is this big ass bottle, Shea Moisture. It's a fruit fusion coconut water two in one energizing bubble bath and body wash. Okay, love, 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 love Shea Moisture a lot. It's actually the brand of my shampoo that I use. And I wanted to visit their booth, but they had one of the longest lines ever at BeautyCon. Next, this jumbo thing. It's uh, from Eden Body Works. It's an all natural cleansing co wash, coconut shea. Okay, next, so they gave a bunch of these like sample, it looks like. Okay, so this one is the Mediterranean Olive Brightening Mask. Um, this is an agave healing oil oil treatment. Looks like it's a curl nourish triple nutrition. Um, step one, shampoo. Step two, conditioner. Step three, type style. So it's a curl stretch loosening pudding. Pudding. I love pudding. This last thing, um, another beautiful blue color packaging. It's from Madam CJ Walker Beauty Culture. It's a frizz fighting coconut and uh, moringa oils, curl conditioner, and shampoo. Oh no, it's a gel. Huh. Cool. Okay, and then the last thing in the swag bag that I'm not gonna go really go through it's they, I, they gave a whole bunch of these coupons and like little tiny sample sizes of things So that was all that was inside of my Beautycon swag bag. I really do hope you enjoyed watching this video I know I love watching these type of videos myself So yeah, if you did like watching this video, please do not forget to give me a thumbs up Leave me some love in the comment bar below and all of my social media will be on the screen as well inside of the um, description box and yeah, I will see you in my next video Bye my loves!